right, you guys, so this is video two of our new sheep here on the property. And today, Joe and I um, are gonna work with her and getting her into the milk stanchion to get her used to it. Um, first, we have to catch her, and then we've gotta get her over to the stanchion and then get her into the stanchion. And this is also gonna be um, a chance for us to see if we need to make any adjustments to the stanchion, because obviously, um, we measured everything just by sight um, as we couldn't get her in there. So that's what we're gonna do today and hopefully everything is successful. And if it is, and we can get her in there and teach her and show her that it's not a bad thing or anything to be afraid of, every day from here on out, Joe and I are gonna continue to come out here and get her up in the stanchion a couple times, take her back out, get her in, take her back out, um, brush her out really good, give her some sweet corn as a treat and a reward for being such a good girl. And I think that if we continue to do that, by the time she lambs here in a couple to a few weeks and it's time for me to start milking her, it'll be way, way less stressful because she's already gonna understand what we're doing. She's gonna be familiar with the stanchion and all will be well. But, we, but before we get her into the stanchion, I have a little video clip of yesterday when we put a um, collar and a leash on her for the very first time. So that's obviously the first step to trying to get her trained now that we've got her used to our physical touch. Um, just getting a collar on her so that we have more control when we do need to catch her to put her in the stanchion and also trying to teach her how to be able to be led around the property with a lead. So I've got a little clip in there of that. All right, guys, so here we are day two working on the milk stanchion and um, we've decided to catch our little sheep sheep and give her a little brush down. Like I said, we've been trying to work with her every day. Um, I'm a little out of breath because Joe and I just had to chase her all over the property and we finally got her behind the chicken coop and we actually didn't have to like forcefully catch her. Um, Joe blocked one entrance and I blocked the other and I just slowly walked up to her and she let me start petting her and she's doing pretty good now so we'll see. So you think I need to loosen this? Uh -huh. wanna see. So what we're gonna do is try to put a collar on her just to make it easier when we're um, catching her and also to get her used to having a collar so that we can lead her up into the milk stanchion when it's time to be milked. Um, that's like a good girl. Well, she's nice and shiny right now. Yeah, good girl. You're okay. Okay. Good girl. Yeah. A little neck. <laughs> yeah. It's all that fur that makes it look so fat. Good mama. Yeah. You think that's good? Yeah, she's probably good. So this is just one of the dog collars that we had, but it'll do for now. Mm. Just to get her used to having something on, mm. huh, pretty girl? Mm -hmm. <laughs> is that one right yeah, right here. You want some nommies? Oh, see? Us humans aren't so bad. Get brushed out, get some corn. That's a good girl. She's like, forget y'all. Come, Come on. Come on, look. There you go. No. Oh. Sounds like it hurts, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a big step from day one, huh, Joe? Mm -hmm. She would have never ate out of our hands on day one. Come on. Come on. You know you want it. That's good stuff. Guess we'll find out, huh? Good mama. Good mama. Come on. Come on. Come on, sweet girl. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, 
sweet girl. Come on. Oh, she's like, let me get my corn first. kept trying to follow the ducks and the ducks are like uh-uh don't bring them humans over here can you give her a little nudge Joe there you go come on You're all right. You're all right, Mama. So, this is the same thing we went through with the cows. When we had a new calf and we were halter training them. They don't like it, but she's not getting hurt. She's fine. And she'll eventually realize that she's not gonna go anywhere. And Joe brushes her because she loves being brushed. So it's just a way to show her this is good. This is not bad. Oh, Mama. Yeah, see, that feels good. What are you doing, Joe? Taking your sheep on a walk? Mm -hmm. Something like that. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> That's a good girl. Yeah. Oh, look at her smell on the leash, Joe. See? Here you go. Pee -pee time. <laughs> you scared the pee out of her. That's a good mama. That's a good mama, sheep. So sheep have four teats. And, um, I probably can't really, I'm trying to get you guys a good shot. They've got four teats in there, and, you know, just like a cow, right before she lambs, she'll bag up, and her udder will get super full of milk. So, because she's so small, and her udder is so small, um, I will probably milk her from the back. We'll see how it goes. That's a big step, huh, Joe? Mm -hmm. I mean, just getting that collar on her and mm -hmm. her kind of learning that it's not going to hurt her. That I think she can't go anywhere. That she can't go anywhere, yeah. We got pool noodles all over the yard. We just got rid of our above ground pools, so it's a hot mess out here right now. Oh, that's a good girl, Mama Sheep. Good girl. So she's trying to take you for a walk, huh, Joe? <laughs> huh? I'm letting her. You're letting her? Well, that's okay. I think just letting her see that it's okay to be so close to you. Good girl, mama. Good girl. You're okay. Yeah. That's a good mama. That's a good girl. Good girl. Can I pet you? Hi, mommy. Can I pet you? Good girl. Yeah. Oh, that's a good girl. Oh, yeah. Remember? You like it when I get your ears. Oh yeah, doesn't that feel good? Doesn't that feel good? She 
got these babies in here. Anxious to see if uh, she has twins. We were trying to kick my hand. Can I touch you? Can I touch that udder? You're gonna freak out. Huh? Oh, I gotcha. But as you guys can see, they're trying to get her. And she got trapped because they got her. And the chickens and ducks are coming out. But they got the sheep by the collar, like she put on yesterday. Oh, she almost got away that time. Oh, oh. Whoa. Huh? Maybe she'll stay here. Let me brush her. Oh, you can't adjust it now, huh? Well, you should have made it to where this could come up, Joey, and lock her in. But I guess if her head's locked in, that wouldn't really matter, huh? All right, just close that in on her neck so she feels like she can get out. All right, you guys. So <laughs> we got her in the stanchion. Um, we do need to address, adjust the uh, neck hole. It's a little too small for her, so no problem. Joe can saw that out a little bit. It's just a little too tight, so I'm not comfortable latching it shut on her. But this is the first step, getting her into the stanchion and used to the stanchion. Spoiling her and loving on her while she's in there. Joe's brushing her out. We've given her some sweet corn just to let her learn that the stanchion's not a bad thing. See, she's smelling it, she's checking it out. Yeah, mama, see? Good girl. Not so bad. 
That's a good girl. I think we did a really good job with everything else, the height of it and everything. And even like where her head is in correlation to the counter where her grain bowl is going to go once her head's in there. I think that it's a perfect, perfect height. Look at you. You're doing great. You're a superstar. Yeah. Are you going to be my milk sheep? Huh? That's a good girl. Getting brushed out. You're all right, good girl. Just got some corn that we use to trick her in there. She likes the corn. So that'll be her treat. We've tried to give her sweet feed and other things as a treat and she wants nothing to do with anything but corn. So. Let's get a good shot of that little tiny udder. <laughs> I'm used to a cow udder. So that'll of course bag up a lot once she's in milk. But this is good. She's smelling around the stanchion, checking it out. Took a couple nibbles of some corn. <laughs> That's a good girl. Well, next time she'll know what we're doing, huh? Mm -hmm. Hopefully she won't be as scared. Like well, she's not going to like it for quite a while. Good girl. Yeah, you want to guide her out gently? I don't want her to hurt herself. Come on. Come on, Mama. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I think you're just going to have to manhandle her. At least the first time so she can see what we're doing. Come on. Come on. Good girl. So this is a little trick that we learned with the cows. If you put your lead around the animal under their armpits like Joe just did and make kind of like a harness, Come on. it makes them feel like they have less control. <laughs> Good girl. Hold on, Joe. I want to try to get her up in there one more time. Good girl. So that's how Joe was able to lead her into the ramp was by putting the lead under her armpits. Just like this, maybe. And the animal has less power. <laughs> and it gives you more power to actually control and maneuver the way that you want her to go. It's funny, she kind of like pitches a fit and goes on strike and just lays down. So now watch how much easier it's going to be for Joe. Look at that. See? That's a good girl. Good girl. Come on. Good mama. Come on. Come on. Let me get the front and you get the back. Or I'll get the back, you get the front. Come on. Come on, Mama. Good girl. Good. Yay. Good girl. Good girl. Good mama. It's okay. I know you don't understand. I know you don't understand. You're gonna be alright. Yeah. Nobody's gonna hurt you. There we go. That's good, Joe. That's really good. That's a good girl. That's a good mama. Yeah. Good girl, good girl. <laughs> good 
Good mama. Good mama. She's like freaking humans. There she goes, gonna follow her people. <laughs> yeah. Look at her telling the ducks. It was terrible. I am so encouraged after what just happened. I am so excited. I am bound and determined to milk this sheep and she may be stubborn, but I think I am more stubborn. So we will see who will prevail in the end. But this was very encouraging today and I am super stoked. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. Give me a thumbs up, you guys, and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.